can remember as a young fellow, a neighbour had an old Austin 10, and I can remember as a young boy sitting in this car, yeah, I just enjoyed the smell of the inside, the old fittings. I was sort of always interested in the mechanicals of things. Yeah, so that got my interest up, and uh, from then on, I've been interested in anything mechanical. When I was a lad, I went to war as an air mechanic in the flying corps. The stuff we have here, I've just picked it up from rubbish dumps and all sorts of places and given it at home. It's all part of our history. My passion is to save it from disappearing. To people in those days, it was just old stuff that nobody wanted. They were happy to get rid of it. And I'm pretty lucky that all the stuff that I preserve, I'm able to enjoy. So as well as preserving these items, um, I'm using them. I'm an A-grade mechanic by trade. During my apprenticeship, I preferred working on all the older cars that came into the workshop. My 1928 Chev, I purchased in 1966. Must have been 17 or something like that, I suppose. Yes, it wasn't common. I drove a 1928 car where everyone else was driving their 60s cars, and I still drive that car today, nearly 50 years. Once you've saved a car, got it running, should last forever. My 20s, 30s, 40s cars are still running their same engines, same gearboxes. Wonderful stuff, some of that older made stuff. Maintenance on one of the cars, my wife has helped me. I'm very lucky to have this particular woman in my life. When I met Jennifer, she lived across the road from a garage that I was an apprentice at, covered in grease, an old oily rag out of my pocket. She took a liking to me. She used to come up to the garage and buy chewing gum all the time just to get to see me. Kept tripping over her and uh, then I must have asked her out one day and uh, it went on from there. Yeah, I used to go up for chewing gum. I was still at school. My dad just loved Bruce anyway because he was car mad as well. And so, I was the mechanic uh, on and he, and Bruce was his mechanic. We used my 1926 Model T Roadster. And our honeymoon was in a 1928 Chev. Yeah, I thought, you know, it was just be a small hobby sort of thing. To get to the extent that we are now, I didn't think we'd ever be like this. I don't have any spare time. My normal day starts at seven o'clock in the morning, finishes seven o'clock at nights. With restoring cars, to keep all those cars on the road, they all need bits and pieces. Mass this huge collection of classic old parts. We have parts still with labels on for 1912 onward cars. It would be in excess of a million parts. Word soon gets around, so we get phone calls from England and Australia and America and things like that all day. On a bad day, I can have up to 45 to 50 phone calls. We don't talk about monetary value on, on what I have here. I don't worry about anything that I have. I'm just looking after it. When I finish with the stuff, I shall give it away or whatever. That's where the value is in it for me, is the enjoyment of helping other people keep their cars on the road. The phone sort of gets at me some days. I could smash it and I'll head off I'll make myself a sandwich, have peace and quiet for 10 minutes, quarter of an hour. Cars I used to service when the people didn't want them, I had brought them to save it from being scrapped or, or disappearing. Clients leave me cars. One guy I supplied distributor cap, bits of pieces for his car, wanted his vehicle to be looked after and enjoyed. He passed on and left me Van der Plaat. He was just a customer. Beautiful car, 1961 Van der Plaat. I use that particular car regularly. I look after a lot of cars from old to even this era. I give things a home today for tomorrow. People talk about holidays. I don't actually need to go on a holiday. I'm so comfortable here. Every day to me is a lovely day at home amongst all my treasures. And when I go out anywhere, enjoy driving cars that I love anyway. To spend 24 hours a day doing what I love doing is um, a bit of a plus in life, as far as I'm concerned. I'm doing for the rest of my life exactly what I want to do. And I'm quite happy with that.